G'day everybody, it's me again. I've just been playing with flybat and uh, the uh, insulation on my uh, copper winding, the enamel insulation on my copper windings is broken down and it's putting on a uh, very pretty show for us. Um, I've never seen it do this before. Um, I will admit I touched the bench and got a bit of a nasty shock. Lucky it was my right hand. Um, when I say nasty, it was a different feeling. I've never felt electricity like that before, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, and, uh, yeah, less waffle, more power on, more zap. That flyback is completely breaking down. And uh, that's amazing. It's freaking beautiful. Um, I don't know how long this is going to last like this. But uh, the flyback is breaking down. I'm losing power. Oh, and I've just lost it altogether. That has just died in the arse completely. Now, I've never seen electricity do that before. That was awesome. Um, it smells like a photocopier in here right now. Um, as you can imagine, it's from the, all the ozone that was just being produced, but damn. Um, when I say the, the way it zapped me was a bit different, it was... The fr I, I think I could feel the frequency. It wasn't the same as like getting a shock of DC or AC. Um, well, when I say, like, it doesn't feel like a shock from the mains, it doesn't feel like a shock from high, high, uh, high volt DC either. Um, I don't know if that's going to turn on again now that it's cooled off just a tad. Yeah, you see, it kind of... I think that was actually the transistors or the, the uh, MOSFETs that were breaking down that stopped, but... But, yeah. The way that that all tries to go through the insulation on the core, it's incredible. Uh, literally, the electricity is trying to go through to the windings on the other side of the plastic there. So, uh, the frequency must be extremely high and the insulation has just become useless, broken down completely and it's trying to zap through. Anyway, Alex is still alive, he copped it from the ZVS and he's still alive and I do believe I copped it from the ZVS because it arced out through the bench through the, uh, or maybe, maybe even through that plywood um, not sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to me waffle and uh, more ZVS um, now that I've broken that, I might uh, wire up the other flyback in a Roya oscillator setup with uh, a 12 volt uh, switching and uh, probably use that audio transformer I've got for a 60 volt, 50 volt supply. Anyway, thanks for watching.